Hi, my name is Raj, and welcome to an episode in regards to Google's core web vitals and how can that impact your website. Question number one is, what are the three main components of Google core web vitals and why are they important for your website? Core web vitals is a very technical concept, ideally talked to by, by developers, but it is something which is really important for website owners to understand and know. There are three factors which really impact your core web vitals. Number one is largest contentful paint, LCP, which measures the loading performance of your site. Number two is first input delay, FID, measures the inter interactivity of your site and how usable it really is. Finally, number three is cumulative layout shift or CLS measures the visual stability of your site. These are all important factors. They impact user experience and influence your SEO rankings majorly. Question number two is, how can web developers optimize for LCP to improve your user experience? Well, it is a technical requirement, but it's super important to optimize your images, use modern formats and compress files. Number two, minimize your style sheet in JavaScript. Reduce the blocking resources by using optimized CSS and JavaScript files. Number three, use a thing called lazy loading, which loads off screens and images when they are needed, not just required as soon as you load your, your page. And finally, use better hosting and use things like CDN, the content delivery networks to improve your server speed efficiency throughout your website. Question number three is what strategies can enhance your CLS on the website? To improve your cumulative layout shift. First of all, specify the size of attributes like images and videos. Number two, avoid inserting content above existing content. It is really annoying when you see banner ads or content coming up over existing content has already been loaded on your site. And it, it's also annoying for users and hence that is a a place where you can get penalties from Google. And finally, use transform animations inside of triggering layout changes so that people are, can understand what's happening on your, on your website and it's a better usable, usable experience as well. Number four, why is first input delay or FID crucial for user interaction and how can we get it minimized? Number one, it is measures the time for user interact activity and response. You know, you don't want a, a slow website ever. Uh, that is a big, big no-no for a good SEO ranking. Number two, it's crucial for a smooth responsive user experience. That is what matters today in the in this space and time of, of content creation and SEO. Google doesn't want bad user experience, and that has big, big, major penalty points in case you can't fix that as soon as possible. Finally, minimize by optimizing JavaScript execution splitting code with dynamic import, proving non-essential third-party scripts. Again, technical information, but really helps to optimize your site to make sure that every part of it's working smoothly, things loading quickly. Next question is, how does Google use Core Web Vitals, the ranking factor, and what implication does it have for your SEO? Core Web, Web Vitals are an important part of Google ranks, ranking criteria. I'll give you an example. A few months back, we lost a lot of ranking on the back of uh, core web, web vital issues, and we had to really spend a lot of time and money to get it fixed. But it was a good fix, and it has since enhanced our website completely. As I mentioned, this directly impacts websites, and it's ha impacted ours as well. But it can be fixed, and it took a few weeks to get it done. But it was the best investment we ever made. Number three, emphasize to your web developers. The, the importance of optimized website. It's not good enough just to have a site today. It has to be optimized for SEO. Every content piece you load there has to be optimized to make sure it's, it loads faster, user experience is good, and overall, it's a smooth transaction between you and your customers. Next question is, what tools are available to measure and monitor Core Web, Web Vitals performance? The answer is that this is a ever-growing place where you will see many more incumbents coming in. But the ones we, we use and recommend, number one is Google PageSpeed Insights, which, which provides 
performance analysis throughout throughout for your, your website and core web, web vitals. Number two is Chrome user experience report, which offers a real world data on how can you really get your site better based on feedback from other users or actually just their insights from them using your site. Number three, Lighthouse for an in-depth audit and improvement of your, of your of suggestions. And finally, the Web Vital Core extension for real-time metrics in browser. I hope you found this video useful. These are some initial points to make your core web vitals uh, smoother and better and improve your performance on your website. Solving these problems can really enhance your SEO. So I recommend that you spend time and, and effort on this space.